Yeah, morning everybody. Welcome to Friday's edition of the Daily Digest. Uh, before I forget, I, I got a quick note from the spokesperson of the fire service um, who, who believes that um, we haven't shown, uh, we are not showing enough appreciation of the work, the rescue work they've done in Ekoi. Uh, and uh, and then could we then give him a chance to come explain some of the things that are going on? So I said, yes, he can come next week. Um, as you know, Tuesday I already had um, this gentleman lined up. Uh, what's his name now? Uh, the Sun. Sorry? I have the Sun li lined up for, for uh, Candy Johnson for Tuesday. Wednesday is Diabumi, so Thursday, 9 o'clock. We'll have the spokesperson of the fire service here. Um, he believes that, um, and he could be right, he believes that we don't have a deep appreciation of the equipment and the efforts that they had put in in the rescue operation. So he'll be here and you'll be able to ask him some pertinent questions. I think it's good to give him a chance. And maybe our own perception, he says by international standards, they have done well. Maybe by, by but uh, he, he will not blame us. Uh, it's an emotional thing, you know, you, the crash took place, when was it? Monday, uh, and you just seen the body of your child yesterday. Um, if that is international best practice, well, he will explain. So we look forward to seeing him next week. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Meanwhile, the monologue I was supposed to have, everything done, Dabaru. <laughs> so all things being equal, we might be able to do that next week, Friday. I was going to have a monologue right from my vacation. Now, the music you are listening to, this music that you are enjoying, was composed and performed by one person. And the only person who could have done this is Light Adeniji, who we fondly call Heavy Wind. And um, let me tell you, the things that we enjoy from doing this job is not the money. There's not much money in this business, in this enterprise, I can tell you. What we enjoy is that acknowledgement from people. For example, I got a phone call from somebody who said, I got two phone calls that I always remember. The first one said that I, I took him off the streets. They said he just called to thank me that I took him off the streets. The second one, years after I had spoken about protocols and things, called to tell me that I, Uncle Jimmy, I went for one event yesterday. I was already going out of my door when I remembered what you said. So I went back home to change. And that uh, when he then got there, he was thankful that he had listened to my advice. These are the things. Then, of course, sometimes, you know, you... you ah, she far away. Oh. <laughs> if you hear some of us traveling up and down, up and down, uh, there are ways to it. It's those little appreciations that keep us going. And so when Light On, for example, when he knew I was crossing over, albeit sudden, that was also part of it, uh, the whole crossover process didn't take up to one. <laughs> didn't take up to one week. <laughs> you know, that's one story I'm going to tell. Not now, but at a later date. When I was crossing over from the other station, Classic FM, he was all. Everything happened within, within. Everything happened within a week. In between that week, let him put the call through to me. And when we walk and lost info, I have something for you. He sent it to me. That's what you're hearing. And then the voice that says that. Um, he yeah, listening to Jimmy Dissu, blah, 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 blah. He did everything. He was in the studio all night. These things money can never buy. And that's why it's, it's a great pleasure for me to have him one year after I started in this fantastic station of ours. Light, like, how are you? <laughs> Very well. Yes. Very well, it was good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. You know, you know uh, people think that, uh, move closer to the mic. Sure. People think that in this business enterprise that we do, it's all about there's a lot of money to be made and so on and so forth. If it's a calling and you practice it properly, that ain't going to happen. You won't make any money. No way. But the, you will get emotional bursts exactly. that will propel you. Exactly. In the first instance, if you're a professional of some sort, be it music, um, whatever, you have very little time for the vanities of life. True, very true. You know, you're a musician yeah. now, a saxophone player oh, and yes. so on and so forth. By the way, light on. Um, acted fella in the musical, you know, fella the musical. He, he, he but you told you came out originally to be a jazz musician. That's when I knew you. Yes, way back in jazz real. Yes, that's right. But yeah, you're moving that, gradually towards Afrobeat now. I know I've moved to Afrobeat. You know, it, it just I was just evolving, Shemo. Mm. So sometimes again, it depends <clears throat> on my mood. 
I, mm. I played Dorishishi, gospel, pop. Mm. So, because I could arrange and compose songs, mm. it's kind of easy for me. Sure, mm -hmm. I could play all these instruments. So, I just experiment. But I love Afrobeat because I, I, from since I was like five or six, I'd been a fellow follower myself. So, um, the intensity of his um, compositions mm. had gotten me since I was a kid. So, I have a boy about the thing composed by I, I could honestly. You know, every time I hear tunes like uh, Confusion Break Bone, <laughs> those later Egypt yes. 80 compositions. Can you play Afrobeat well if you haven't if you can't read music? You can, but you oh, have can you to, compose you Afrobeat to, well? You will. You may have to uh, be able to play an instrument that will help a lot, because then you can arrange. You know, you can again arrangement and your composition could be a gift. Sometimes it's not something mm. that you necessarily mm. learn. You know, our ability, be our ability mm. in a way it could be. Because I never studied music. Oh, you didn't study nope. music? I just pick up an instrument and I play. You're kidding. I'm telling you. I play Who taught you the sax? It was one soldier guy that showed me the notes. More than you could feel it. You know, and then I went back to my room. Me, I, I, you know, pretty, I'm an introvert. So I'll go in, I'll do the mm. work and come out. So that's how I learned most of it. So things. all that Ibadan that you composed way back, you were playing some mean solos and whatever yeah. back in the day. Nobody actually taught you. Nope. Philip, you better say go by yourself. I I tell you a joke though. Yeah. Um, I love music from childhood. Um, I pay tribute to um, ah, what's this this guy's name? He was living with my uncle then, and I was uh, just about getting to secondary school. That was the James Brown era. Mm. Franco, that his name is Franco. I think he's gone now. Mm. And um, every time I went, you know, in those days, you had these uncles, mentors. Yes. You go to their house and fool around. So I was young, 10, 11. Every time I get there and I want to put in a James Brown record, Franco, and Franco speaks the way Remy Kabaka speaks. Ah, we're born here. Kabo. And Franco goes, ah, I've been conscious. Go back in here, go back Jimmy Smith. Yes. Oh, what about you grind me? And um, if, I'm, if I'm distracted, Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. don't waste my records, man. He just came in from America. And he was, and back and back. was deported. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, let him in, man. <laughs> he soon listen. And those are the real Lagos boys. Uh, yes, <laughs> of those times. Yeah. And so I found myself always wanting to go and see Uncle Franco. I didn't call him Franco, mm. you know. And he was my uncle was a seaman, so he was always in my uncle's apartment. And that's how I developed an ear. Yeah, Mm. And plus the fact that I also grew up in the Jimi Hendrix Santana age. Oh wow! I was never a fan of soul music. Mm. In fact, I never liked James Brown until I was much older. Uh -uh. It's funny. I, I was so when Santana, everybody was when I was listening to Santana, Hendrix, Hendrix uh, Deep Chick Purple, Korea. Chick Corea. I find a bit too crazy. Mm. Uh, he's a bit off my head. Yeah, Tito Puente. Tito Puente, I wasn't too too hot on him. Okay. I wasn't too hot on him. But Chico, but I have every Santana that has been played. Wow. You know, I have you it. You know Santana will continue to be modern. Modern. Oh, yeah. I, the, one day I sat back and I said to myself, this guy's repertoire is probably the largest ever. It is. No doubt. From where you come over, oh, yes. you know, all to yes. Zibop and what he's playing now, now is unimaginable. The, the, the sounds that he has composed. And guess what? He hasn't been given his proper place in history. He, he wouldn't because it's not a pop musician. It's not a pop musician, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, if, but for Maria Mariana, most people at home wouldn't even know who, at all. who, who at Santana all. is. At all. So you learned music. You just learned it, you just learned it by yourself. It's, you know, it's like a personal drive for me, you know, since I was young to just learn these things. I mean, what, what I hear yeah. as music these days played by young Nigerians, I must say it worries me. Yeah. Yes, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have too much creativity. It's like a bang bang game. It's all computerized. You don't get that feel of creativity. You know, I grew up in an era of music, when yes. even in Victor Laya, where you yes. take a solo, mm. uh, um, you know, Felat, you take yes. a solo, and you know, you can get the feel of music. Mm. Even Orlando Owo, oh, I don't know. Yes. I don't know why I like him smoking. <laughs> 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 Inspiration. <laughs> even, even, even Orlando, 
Orlando yeah. War. I remember one of his songs. Oti koko kiri waya elo. Then one one of his songs he said to back water about son lane. Yes. Then that it was somebody <laughs> playing the guitar, you know. <laughs> I, I, and I remember I one yeah. thing I also love about Osadebi is the conga. Oh yes, the conga. Yes. But the music that is being played these days, mm. um, Again, a lot of people like it. They make good money. Mm. They can buy private jets and so on and so forth. You know, you know, we have to separate mm. pop music. It's popular music. It's what people want to hear, all this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, and then it's quick. It's like fast food, McDonald's. Hmm. Just enter and come out. It's different from you cooking some Italian dish, you know, or some hmm. serious, um, you know. So it looks as if that era is gone. It, well, it's still there. We have different communities of this, uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, but, but in terms of majority, it, it, it looks as if we've lost it. Um, most people are not necessarily interested in going out for, for concerts and things. They just want to listen in their And room. they want something very yeah, quick. Yeah, exactly. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Fast food. Know, fast food. You know, because if you look at the legacies of... Uh, if you look what at what Fela did in the continent, what Sonny Okosun did, mm. to the point that even one of his songs... Was the national song then in Soweto, and you know, you know, wow. want to know who owns the, the land, land? Fire in Soweto. Mm. Um, if you up it a little bit and go to international, and you look at some of the Bob Marley songs, are these were songs that inspired some of us to be highly active oh, these yes. days. Oh yes. When I think of um, uh, equal rights, when I think of uh, no man no Christ, nothing. Mm. When I think of uh, war. Mystic. When I think of natural mystic, there's a popular mm. one. Um, this, it's funny how these things go off your head. It's also, uh, you, you know, equal rights and justice. These were things that inspired us and that I wish were available today amongst the new set of musicians. But nobody seems to want to take on the mantle. No, nobody really cares about that anymore. Any era of, yes, th that era is gone. Nobody, now it's really about survival for most people mm. you know so it's just go you know get into the business to make money you know and then you're good to go and um the, the ones that really take time with the uh, cooking their music mm -hmm. it's a very small community bros i was in new york oh, a lot of areas where we will play jazz back in the day yeah they are now techno clubs but what's a techno, techno club techno is like you know this uh fast beats, you know, where you come into... You just plug in the club, machine club, and everybody's exactly. sweating away. Exactly. And this is why makers that we used to perform live hmm. and improvise. So things have changed generally. So now we have a smaller community of I people. Go along. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a relic. Because <laughs> there's none of that anymore. Just yeah, come, 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 come to think of it, uh, is Ronnie Scott still on in the UK? Do you know in London? Ronnie Scott. Yeah, I wow. think I see. I see their ads Ronnie. and things. Still, they're still running. They're I mean, still running. Like, yeah, because I know Roy Ayers plays there very regularly. Is he? Is he still around? I'm not sure now, but I know he had a show there. I think a few years back. You know, he's back. he always had shows there, but I'm not sure if mm. he's still around. He's a New York man. You know, yeah. you, you, you. I'm glad you explained. To you. I'd always thought that um, because Fella's music. Fela's music, the only person who has played Fela's music to the T, I can list them on my hand, off my head, Steve Rhodes will head the pack. Mm. He's the master. Steve mm. Rhodes, he will head the Amazing. pack any day. The, his, his last show on earth that he did, when I heard his own version of Water No Get Enemy, Something if else. I had been sleeping hmm. and I woke up, I'd say, please turn that record down. Mm. But and he scored everything. Fantastic. People, some people don't know. Fella in the early days used to score his music. Yes. <laughs> they don't, most people don't know. He used to score it and time it and do everything. Then we used to call him choir master. Mm. Very thorough. He, you know, very thorough. Very with his music. Fella would be at a concert. He'd play up to a point and say, "I start again." Yes. Go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning. Fermi to plays Fella's music fairly well. But Made is also is a master oh, in no, the he's making. Oh no, something else. Watch out. Made bro. is a master <laughs> in the making. Uh, um, uh, and I, and I, and I think that if he doesn't put himself under pressure of not wanting to play his grandfather's music, because I can see that happening, uh, it's possible that he might he might be thinking, "I want to chat." The, the course we are going to live in life has been created by the Creator, yeah, true. and he might just be the one to move his grandfather's music forward. I, I, you, I don't do know you think why I've always had that feeling myself. 
that uh, mm. it looks like Made is about to change the narrative when it comes to Afrobeat. Well, it, 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 I've seen him play two or three of his grandfather's tracks. Wow. He brought tears to my eyes. Mm. He, 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 his uncle, mm. Sheung, doesn't play it as well. I'm sorry to say, he doesn't play it as well. He, he doesn't have that perfection. And I think maybe Sheung might be a little bit more restless and cannot, you know, he doesn't play it as well. I don't, I'm not saying he doesn't play it well. But I've seen the Egypt city play some of her last sounds, and uh, it doesn't just quite sound okay, right. To you. Now anybody can criticize me to say, "What do I? What can I play? I can't play anything." But I've been a you listener. Don't have to. I don't have to. I'm a follower of. So Afrobeat is, um, and it's, I believe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's, it's difficult to play. It is extremely difficult. You're, you're uh -huh. working with a lot of elements. Hmm. Um, before I recorded Popular Side. Yes, I had to listen to Fela for over two years, nonstop, back and from from work. I would wow. listen to uh, his voice, tonation, you know, elements were on low, you know, in terms of percussion, the horn mm. section, the the rhythm, the big conga yeah, drum, the big conga drum. But listen, I need to get this thing now before I went to the studio to start the the, the record because there's no point not sounding like him. So why am I playing it then? So, that was what so I we we, we can we can easily conclude and describe you. As an Afrobeat musician, yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Yes, D -d what's this one that you played for me now? Is it for Jamie Money? Is uh, it named Jimmy <laughs> Dizu, or does it have a name? <laughs> that's actually mind control. And again, what you were oh, saying okay. about, you know, where you know, were leaving this, um, in short, this uh, <laughs> 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 this song, uh, this song is called Mind Control. Okay. And those are my songs that, of course, share radio station. They don't have time for people like us to play Why? our songs. My control is like, you know, talking about, you know. But they'll, this, they'll gladly play your music. They do. I mean, and you know, I have friends in other stations that they yes. do play me regularly, which is, you know. But you don't know, they play you here? No, they we do. don't. This is a talk station, been, though. I've been, I've been, no, not here. I've been in another the, uh, station. The other here. stations, yeah. There's uh -huh, cool, there's Wazobia, yes. Uh -huh. So, I mean, they, you know, I mean, I'm sure they, they play me every now and then. And, but you see, it's about the content of the, of the music. Mm. Why? Why wasn't Fela played that much? Uh, but some, uh, I mean, you so couldn't play Nakboy on radio now. No, Nakboy I mean. Bros. <laughs> 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 no agreement, you know. Yeah. Nobody dared plays on me. By the way, that time. Uh, they were no. <laughs> hey! I tell you that in those days when Fela played zombie and we were at the shrine. You'd be looking over your shoulder. You'd be looking furtively <laughs> over your shoulder to make your way. Our Jagoti. I mean, if fella was to if fella was to give awards mm. to his followers, I should be number one. <laughs> you would stay. I, I never. I don't you think stay. I ever. I don't think I ever missed any Sunday jump myself. I was telling someone Taiwan, that, that, that uh, what do you mean never missed. To be uh, to be my friend. Be seventies. Yes, yeah, yeah, seventies. Uh, I was in A levels. Uh, it was one naira to go in. Huh? Uh, but, uh, uh, my mother took me to the first fella show in nineteen seventy one. Wow. I was in Form 5 with Claudius Effium and Fela's sister. And Fela had just come back from America then, you know, wearing sunshine. Wow. I came back with Sandra. That was the first day I also saw Johnny Astro. Johnny uh, Astro. Fela was breaking for me. This one just come from America. It was so tired. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Johnny Astro is somewhere in, uh, he's somewhere in America, isn't he? Yeah, he's, in, yeah. he's, he's, he's somewhere. I just didn't hear from him. Ah, Johnny Astro had the best percussionist then and drummer. And uh, I have one minute to go. We'll take a break, okay? We, we, we have to take a break. When I come back, I'm going to talk to him about Fela the Musical, which I understand is going to debut in Dubai yes, next you, week. Yes, next week. Yes, we'll talk about that, a bit about that, and what it's like to wear Fela's... Uh, <laughs> we'll, take a short, <laughs> we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs>
things that have been forming their roots. Policies and its makers. I have been crying out. What is there in our time now is that the cost of government is too much. Communities and the dwellers. To stop paying the office and then hear now I'll be up there again. I can exercise my right. We bring them all to you. a revival in Nigeria from the west to the south and from north to the east. Contrary to popular opinion, the revival is not over. The revival is here. We are digging the wells of Nekfi 98 with Ben Osborne, Ministry, Bishop Francis Waliuke, Nathaniel Bashi, Jerry AJ, Nicola Bekes, Chin Taku Shaku, Daniel Olawanji, and many more. The convener, Kinsey Ejiko. Venue, Sapphire Open Ground. Lekki date, Sunday, November 7th, 2021. Time, 4 p.m. Free buses will be available to transport attendees to the venue. I just discovered ehantech.com. ehantech.com? Oh, yes. ehantech.com is Nigeria's fast-growing online academy for students who want to upgrade their digital skills and earn more income. You can access ehantech from anywhere in the world and it's affordable. Wow. Join ehantech and get 20% off your first course to learn programming, graphic design, web development, and other digital courses. ehantech.com is interactive with seasoned professionals. Email info at hantechdigitalconsult.com. Hantech Digital Consult. IT trained for Generation Next. Someone gave me this script to read, <laughs> but I'm JJ Kocha. I don't know how many words I must read in a minute. I play football, not Mr. Actor, actor. I don't read scripts. I'm at my best when I feel this. That feeling, that's Spectrum. Join us at Spectrum. Na mago mago, koi gen adosia, na em make Nigeria no fit develop as it for be. I work na to report mago mago, where fit make life no jolly or we contribution. See something, say something. Blow the whistle today, may you report mago mago, and bad bad things where people no go know. You fit send any kind of information, go tip at corruptionanonymous.org or call 081 or the Presidential Initiative on Continuous Public Sector on top 0909-806-7946. If you also report to any agency where they fight corruption, like PFCC, ICPC, Code of Conduct Bureau, or the Nigeria Police, this message now from the African Center for Media and Information Literacy, AFRICI, with support of MacArthur Foundation. <laughs> As a man who has a lot of responsibility, I make it a point of duty to use my money wisely. One of the ways I do that is by investing in real estate. Not just with anybody, else, but with a solid partner like LifePage. For the past nine years, LifePage has been committed to not only providing me with the best real estate opportunities and investments, they always ensure that I get the best possible return on my money and the alerts keep coming. <laughs> So, if you're looking to create wealth, buy a home or land. Call these numbers now, now. 0906-000-5737 or 0906-000-5747 or mail. Find us at lifepagegroup.com. Excuse me, I have another lot to attend to. <laughs> LifePage, making lives richer. Hey, that girl they read something. What kind of something be that? Where are they always they smell? I know what thing she they use. And she use them two times a day. Then Ruth be her chicken. A, B, Z, now the secret. Mm. No subject antibacterial drink. A, B, Z. What they give you three times more protection, three times more freshness. Not your normal toothpaste. Hey, everybody up there. Um, yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Use no subject antibacterial drink. Triple the protection, triple the freshness. Everybody can no say now. Can you 
do with five thousand US dollars? If that's the case, why don't you now join Don Jazzy and Hamtech Market in a trading competition? Can you beat the Don? The demo trading competition runs from the first of December to the thirteenth of December, twenty twenty one. The top three winners with the highest equity smiles home with a whopping five thousand US dollars, three thousand US dollars, and two thousand US dollars. That's not all. Ten people will win one hundred US dollars each. So. If you got what it takes to beat the Don, text Lagos and Don Jazzy to 0805-690-5612. That is 0805-690-5612. Or visit www.hmtmarkets.com to register and start competing. Participation is free. The federal government, through NPHDDA, commenced phase two vaccination of all persons 18 years and above with safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines approved by WHO and certified by NAFTA. Special arrangement has been made for staff, their dependents and retirees of ministries, departments and agencies of government, private corporate organizations and non-governmental organizations. To benefit from this special arrangement, visit www.nphdda.gov.ng forward slash corporate vaccination forward slash to obtain, fill and submit the Google form. NPHDDA will contact you within 48 hours. Protect yourself, your family and your workplace against COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccines are free, safe and effective. For further inquiries, call 0700-220-1122 or send a mail to covid19.vaccination at nphdda.gov.ng. This message is from the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. We know Tata is so famous. We know our cars red. We know the streets are not smiling. We know the hustle must pay. That's why this Junior Black Friday is a big deal. We know the economy is not smiling, and that's why Junior Black Friday is a big deal. From the 5th to the 30th of November, enjoy big deals up to 50% on tech and electronics, fashion, health and beauty, groceries, and many more. Visit the Junior site or download the app to shop all deals. The Junior, every day is Black Friday. Welcome back to your number one sports news and sports station. Yeah, you welcome back. Uh, I'm in the studio with the composer of the music you just heard, Lighton Adeniji. Lighton, you're a tall man to be a fella, though. Yeah. Uh, what got you fella long on? Well, that was five was something. <laughs> so how, how, do you do, how do you do? Well, again... Did they cut your legs? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went through a lot of training. In fact, Yeni, Yeni Kuti. Yes. I trained with her for close to three months. Really? She was telling me all that. Fella on joko bayo, ba olo joko. Sit down like this, yo. Fella on isho bayo. So I went all that went into this. At our former band members, fella, they all came on board. I had to get them. Really, all this training took place. To to ah training kidini. Then from there, kido then actors. You know, some of the actors I acted with, you know, very good ones. They helped me, you know, with a lot of all the stuff, you know, state geography, etc., etc. So there, it was a project too. So Were I'm you given the first offer of refusal? Um, I tell you why, because when the concept of fella was coming up, everybody thought that Dede might be the one to do it. Okay. A because he, at some point in his life he had gotten close to fella, oh, and yeah. B because he's a theatre arts graduate anyway. Yes. And um, I remember once taking Dede to play for a show in Port Harcourt. Then we went to pick him. We went to pick him when he walked. When he walked down the staircase for one for one minute there was a show somewhere in Pataco that I had organized and went to pick him I, I got a feeling of fellow walking down mm. so everybody thought that it would be dead until we got it and we saw a very tall fellow <laughs> 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 who is this basketball <laughs> you don't know if Dede was offered at all I don't know Okay. I don't know. But you know Dede, don't you? Oh, he's my good friend. Good, good brother. Friend. Yes, good brother of mine. Mm -mm. Very good. He, too plays, he plays Afrobeat amazing, now. Amazing. Like, do you have a band, by the way? I do. 
I do. I've always do you play band. shows? I mean, do you play at any place regularly? Felatu always said that. It's always good for you to have a place where people can come look at you. Yeah. Do, do you have a place where we can watch you? Well, I used to. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, yes, I used because to. Because of these schedules and things. Well, different schedules now. I mean, all kinds of things that I'm, you know, uh, getting involved can with. Can I call you an actor? Yes, you can. So are you in any other movie apart from this further thing you're doing? No, I got a few offers, but um, not really what I'm looking for. You really don't need to know what you... I'm very, very picky with even music gone. Before it mm. comes out, talk less of going on mm. ahead so i pick my battles so i haven't seen anything um that challenge so you have to you have to go through a whole lot of training oh, yes and so that we we needed to get it right to tell our own story mm. how know? successful is this project it's been it's been amazing you go to dubai to, you, dubai we've been you, to you, south you, africa for three weeks been in egypt uh, abuja lagos twice uh, 2017 and you. We're, we're about getting there next year we were supposed to go about Corona. Yeah. Then, so now we're getting back on you know, on track and then Dubai first and then we take it from there. UK, of course, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You were, <laughs> you were telling me of a cross you have to bear where in some countries people be, <laughs> they you won't believe it. that for life. Like that it <laughs> I, I was in um, uh, South Africa. Yeah. And this Baba, after the show, you know, I would take pictures with, you know, we all take pictures. Yes. And he came to me and, you know, just held me. And then the wife was about to take, wife's hand was shaking. Mom was like, maybe 78, 87. I was watching you in Nigeria in 1975. I said, it's not me, Sal. He said, no, it was you. And they hung by me. Same thing in uh, Egypt. I got to Egypt and then this lady came. I, well, I need to see fella. I need to see. So they took her backstage. When she got to me, oh, I remember I saw you in, at Barbican set. I said, Madam, this is not me. Our boy is here, Rennie. We yes. ought to deal. Oh, no, it was you. <laughs> said, so now, this what, man, what then what happened? You, oh, my photo, I'm alone. After photo call. Uh, bros. Eh, you are not yet a full fella. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, bros. Uh, ah. Bros. I'm a so you is different yes. from a meal. This one, I play. Oh. And I come and meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this not play. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, you not get the power. I beg, I beg. You have to. I beg. Don't. Let's not even go but, there. But, but, but do you do you get public in Nigeria? Do people get that recognition? Of, oh, yeah, that's the guy that plays for a lot of the time. No, I'm not this popular person. I don't go out. You know, like you that. said you don't go out. Yeah, yeah, you I'm didn't take private. part in any of this celebration thing. You I actually place. play celebration every year except for this year. I've uh, always played celebration. Yes. Freedom Park or um, the Shrine in mm. Kenya. So I've always performed. But mm. uh, again, you know, this project, you know, it's been fun for me. Very rewarding. Very humbling too. Yeah. Very, very humbling. You know, it's almost like a dream. It's yeah. very surreal for me. Someone you've been following since you were since kid, a and kid. then now you're getting on stage to perform that same person. They don't come you that know. too many in a man's lifetime. It doesn't. Really. It doesn't um, at all. Since Fela died, uh, nobody has filled that vacuum in me. But then again, also, he maybe has to do it. But I'm a bit worried about the direction in which our young musicians are going. But I think it's a new world, really. It is totally new. Yeah, I think it's a new mm. world. You, people like you have convinced me that, look, pack your bag and go. Mm. It's a new world. <laughs> it's a new world. Okay. It's a new world. Our lines are open 0700 993 993 993 and uh, the female line 01465 7190. I just wish Kelvin would call because I'm sure you know Kelvin. No, I don't. Kelvin is one of the I've made a few friends on over the last eight to ten years, and uh, mm. Kelvin is an Afrobeat, he's a diehard like me. Ah. Died in the wood oh, after it. Fantastic. Uh, yes, I've met quite a few friends. I've asked the and so Hello, morning. Hello. Morning. Oh, good, good morning. Morning. Who's calling? Hello, uh, my name is Basi. I'm calling from Saga. Yes. Wow. Uh, good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I, I couldn't just. Uh, I was about somewhere when I came to this station because it's my regular station. I'm a regular listener. So. Okay. The cover the conversation about Baba, because me and Baba boy, I've, I've loved Baba so much that I can't even... I'm but but right this now, one will be Baba. Oh, oh no, yeah. no This one, this one, <laughs> no <laughs> I'm just waiting for you for this, uh, 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 um, the program to finish before I can get to, uh, before I can get to where I was going to. Okay, I'm thank right, you I'm very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning, sir. 
This is Moses calling from Lekki. Morning, Mr. Moses. How are you? Yeah. You know, it's so amazing how we see ourselves mm. heading to the end of the world and we are saying we are advancing. The mm. music of today does not make sense. The world is heading to do. Nothing is making sense all over the world. Mm. What they do on the internet is not making sense. There's nothing called advancement in it. Mm. They're only getting worse. Mm. You heard that? We are heading to a doom and we are laughing over it saying we are getting advanced. Hmm. Thank you. You know, the, you know, one of my favorite pastimes is to watch YouTube hmm. and go back in the day. You know, I can't watch a lot of this uh, music that they play now. I can't. Um, it's not anywhere now. And when I say the likes of sometimes I watch Duke, sometimes I watch such more hmm. Gillespie. I mean, I'm a jazz yes, person. Yes. And I look at the work and look at the creative work that comes out of it. And then I now listen to what the monotonous thing that we have. This gentleman who called in has a point. To me, oh, mm. to me, yeah. oh, I think the whole lot of what is being produced, a lot of it is just, as far as I'm concerned, musical nonsense. What I call musical masturbation. For the new age. Not, it's a new age. It might be for the new age, age but new it, age. this, the, the, we grew up on songs, we grew up on lyrics. Yes, we did. We grew up on lyrics. Yes. I, 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 look, it's take fella out of the equation. Say he's a fella fan. Nigeria go survive. Oh yeah, Nigeria. Yes. We grew up on lyrics, things that inspired mm. us. We grew up on um, and your maji don't go kete kete that yes. obey and and so on yes. and so Baba forth. Tomoe. Baba Tomoe. Mm. philosophy, music. We grew up on you know, on Sunday windy yes. and things like that. We grew up on 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 things that inspired us and made us African. Mm. But they want, and I don't know why some of the top musicians these days are into deviant behavior. Fella was a non-conformist, yes, but he was wasn't involved in four one nine or anything. Fella no never way, duped no anybody. Way, no way. Fella played a concert once with um, this was his name was this guy. Anyway, when we got to the beach, Fella said, ah, "Where is a uh, seven up? Where is this one?" He said, that "I did the show myself. He said, Come and take." A hundred thousand back from your money. Yeah, I think it was the Adelego, wow. yes. I yeah. I think it was Adelego. Yeah, Mr. Some Dapo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, we, we, it, even in as much as, most fellow, maybe when he was at Crossroads and he was living there, he probably played in pants. But, but aside from all those things and then loads of women and whatever, Fella too, he, he kept us, he was there for the masses. He was, he was talking about injustice. Yes. The current generation have nothing to give back. But just to, you know. Yeah, your caller is right, but then it, it's what it is, seriously. What are you gonna do about it? Well it's what it is. Well, don't you, out, don't you, you feel a need to bring up a new set of musicians to see uh, and encourage? Do you okay, let me let's turn it around this way. Do you get demand? From younger people who say that, look, Uncle Ayton, I don't know how you can mentor me. I'd like to play what I would call meaningful music. Yes, I have a couple that uh, I've met over this. But mm. guess what, bros? Mm. They, they're not going to go far. These are men yeah. that they share more. So even if, if, they, come out with it, yeah, if they come out with it, who's going to play it? Which radio station has time for that one? I mean, because, you know, so because, they're uh, not be uh, because what you hear <coughs> it's just is a lot of lurid stuff. stuff, really. It is. Um, I'm also a TikTok fan. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide TikTok. Uh, for, for example, my favorite TikTok is uh, the story of a little dog, one tiny dog like that, and it's called Nikki. You know, yeah. one of the women, and the, there's always enough TikTok on their own side, and Nikki. Nikki is supposed to be a very wild dog. So, you know, uh, but when you get to the Nigerian TikToks, it's all about backsides. <laughs> It shows where the head of the people are turned to. Yeah, it shows where the head of the people is all about backside or cleavage. It says a lot about the people. Bros. Is that who we are? Ah, more or less now. Because what people feed into is what, you know, they react. I mean, that's how they react and, and stuff that they So if that's what it's on TikTok, then it, it says a lot you, you about know, people. You know, you know, it's funny. People don't know. There was a former side of Fela that people didn't know. For example, my brother, you can't dance on the dance floor if you're not get a woman. Most people didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that one I didn't know. You that. couldn't just dance. Yeah, you couldn't dance on Fela's stage if you didn't have a partner. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He had an area for for boys to... <laughs> to uh, he, call, he called it uh, some area, but... He would tell you, say, my brother, you know if you dance on the dance floor if you're not carry a woman. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the one I know is first touch. I was, I was no, no, hey, no, no, this bro, one. Yeah. You can't stand. When when he played, um, the first time he played MOP1, I got to the shrine very late. Ah. And I wanted to have a good view of... of I had to go and hire one babe to that so I can watch. <laughs> I don't know. 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 I want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and we all used to sing along. Shall we? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's just yeah, so much fun. Yeah. But but towards the end, towards the end of his life, I, I, when he started doing certain things that I couldn't, um, I said, look, if there's a video of this event and it's shown in future, I wasn't be sit, sitting down here. But that's a story for another. Again, day. he had finished what his, his mission anyway. Yeah, so his mission had finished. finished yes, 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 he was ready to go. Yeah, he was ready to go. So let let me take another call. Hello, I wish Kelvin would call. Hello, morning. Hello, Uncle Jimmy. Morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Morning. My name is Mark Harry. Yes. I like to good morning. Good morning. Yes. Um, before I go on, please, I want to confirm. Are you the one who performed in uh, at the NBA Nigerian Bar Association Conference in 2019 in Lagos? Yes, I was. Wow, yeah. Uncle Jimmy. Hmm. That was massive. Hmm. That show, ah, uh, oh, bad gunny. You run it. Ah, oh, oh, you oh, 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 you would think you are watching fella. Everything he did that day, ah, uh, melted me. Oh, hmm? if I see <laughs> this man on the street, I will grab him. You don't go recognize me. I, I, I get the agenda. It uh, must uh, everything. I'm telling you. I, 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 I was you. asking him that. I was asking him that. I've been thinking of seeing one of these. Uh, no, I I talking. Thank you very much. I was telling I'm thinking of one of these skin tight uh, how did you get into yours? Uh, well Hello? you know I've always had a slim kind of a figure. Yes. So it was a little easier to uh, You didn't have to go on a diet or something. I did do I could this stomach. Ah, no. I had to work on stomach. I'm still working on it, by the way. It's not easy. Well, well, it's just no, 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 I, I, mean, I can't. So painful. Ah. <laughs> anyway, sir, let's leave that one. Okay. <laughs> let's pick another girl. Hello. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Uncle Jimmy. Yes. Uh, I, I, I was privileged to know some people that know Fela. Yes. Even a guy that served him. Yes. And I also grew up at Ikeja in the 80s. Yes. So I know a lot of things about this man we are talking about. Yes. But I'm surprised that with the much I know about him, Yes. which I wouldn't want to say on air, you know, we blow him so much as if he's a kind of a role model, but eventually he wasn't. You know, because he have a lot of negative influence on the youth at that time we were growing up. Mm. So I'm very surprised that uh, we are eulogizing him. Okay, thank you. you. Know. Uh, let me let me quickly question. react to that. Uh, is your opinion you're entitled, fully entitled to it? About one, this uh, interview, this session we're having is not about fella. It's because he acted fella. And two, I'm a product of a very long association with fella since 1971. And I'm proud to say that he impacted my life and was a role model to me. Likewise. The question really is, who is a role model in Nigeria? But don't let's even go along. All these people with a thief money, no way. Mm -hmm. The question is, with everything in life, you must know what it's all about for you. All the time I was with Fela, I was clear-minded about the things I would do and the things I would not do. Exactly. But I can tell you that... Being in a position to sit in front of this mic, I've spoken to Nigeria at 7.30 and now, a larger percentage of it I owe to Fela Kuti. Mm. And I have no... But, I, but you are entitled to your own opinion. It's like a glass. A glass is either half full or half empty, or it's like a, a revolving mirror is on which side that you see it. Um... May I, may I ask you to make your own presentation? Absolutely. <coughs> Since I was, what, uh, four Every or five? Minute. Yes. Fela had been uh, a mentor. Yes. Because um, you, you don't want to 
box fella. Mm. I mean, musician fella. First thing is, is a musician. Yes. He's sharing here. That's what he will focus. Yes. On. You know. So the rest is all. Now I know what what he's probably <clears throat> referring to is um, the, the hemp smoking in public and uh, women. Uh, and because it's uh, open about it, it's open about it. It's there, blunt there, about there are it. some more. There are some people of Abekuta extraction that we know who oh. became two of them became heads of states. They are mm. not any better than him when it comes to women. <laughs> Everybody, Abi. <laughs> Abi. Abi. Everybody, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and as for the, and as for the, as for the hemp smoking, it's a matter of choice. Uh, uh, he was also open about his life. Yes. A lot of people do much more damage. Pretentious. Pretentiously. Yes. Behind, Pretentious. Behind the scene. Everywhere who, you go. Uh, who, of all the people we have alive today, how many can you point to as a hero? Emma Shiro. Even some of them passed herself. I bet second base, man. Second base. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even some of them passed herself. <laughs> Okay, let's take let's take a last caller then I let light on go. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Um, morning. Good morning, happy way. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to good connect. Um, yes. I'm, I'm a jazz I'm a jazz head myself, you know, collecting since nineteen ninety nine, you know. When you mentioned Jimmy Smith, I was like, Oh my goodness, all mm. down grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Lonnie Smith, you know, John yeah. Coltrane, Miles Davis, so I'm properly immersed in, in that in that world. Mm. Even though I'm not I'm not as old, but hey. Wow. <laughs> but I, I think for me, um, I think if, if you look at me, when I when I talk about music, by the way, my name is Obi Nokerikos. When you talk about music, I think there's a pyramid. And if you look at the musical construct of music, jazz is at the pinnacle. If you listen to, if you deconstruct every form of music, whether it's pop, trap, mm. you mm. know, hip hop, at the end of the day, there are elements. Because I tell people, for me, when I deconstruct music, take away the lyrics, listen to the instrumentation. Mm. Everything has elements of jazz in it. it it's a pinnacle. Okay. And that's why Afrobeat is so, 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 so important. Thank you. It's we so, got to so, go. We got to go. Thank you very much. Right on, I got to let you go. Thank you. Um, you yeah, got to promise one of these days to come and do Diablo Moon with me. Have you heard that? Absolutely. You hear, I look you, forward to it. You like yes, to I, I listen. You listen oh, to yeah, Diablo Yeah. Ah, it would be nice. You could come this Wednesday. Uh, well, I won't be in town. You won't be in town when you come back. Yes. When you come yes. back. Okay, so that's where we learned it for today. I've been speaking to Light on Heavy Wind, who, amongst other things, is a musician in his own right, but amongst other things, um, the fella, the fella, what would you call it now? Musical. He acts the role of fella in it. And it's been on for about five years. It's a musical that's not going away. Mm -hmm. uh, considering that, look, if you go to the UK today, uh, what's this famous musical? What, what's this with the, the Hadjul Briner? Uh, the King and I. King and I, yes. The Lion King, all yes. these things. It yes. goes on, non on yeah. and on non-stop. Evergreen, yes. Non so mm -hmm. you have a full time ahead of you. On Tito Bayoku. Then they'll throw you <laughs> off the set. <laughs> I'd like to thank you, Lido, for thank coming. You very much, thank Shibon. you very much. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I won't be here tomorrow uh, again because um, of the elections. But when Mimo will be here, I'll be at home laughing at her, struggling to try to keep you on for so long. Um, I, I'll, be, I'll make, make a phone call to her, Maki Kuse, but it's that kind of monofi kiki. It's like spiting Haku. Thank you for saving me for not coming to work tomorrow. Let me work my day. <laughs> so. I'll be back on Tuesday with uh, uh, Yemi Candy Johnson. We'll be looking at the Odili um, issue, N not Mary now, the man. We'll be looking at that, excuse me, that interim injunction that is forever existent. Then on Wednesday, we're going to have Diabumi as usual. Then on Thursday, given the circumstance, uh, I'd like to give everybody a fair whatever. The spokesperson of the fire service will come and tell us and try and change our minds. He, according to him, he believes that we are well equipped and they've done a good job. We'll give him a chance to say that. I'm more than glad to give him a chance. We learn every day. Okay? And then on Friday, maybe I will not be able to do my monologue. I still I still need to do that. When my mom brought to my attention somebody who just got an honorary degree, he knows himself. We wish him all the best. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We wish him all the best. Uh, that's another feather to his cap. No, it's not you, uh, Light on. Not you. <laughs> not BT Echo. <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday, 9 o'clock. Bye.
99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.